Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 18th through the 24th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, followed then by Major Arcana, Wheel of Fortune, upright. Next, we have the Two of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Knight of Cups, upright. And lastly, we have the lovers in the upright. Wow, <laughs> what a spread here, Taurus. Quite different from <laughs> the readings of late for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, you have that of the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. Eight of Swords is, <laughs> when it's in the upright position, this can represent feeling really trapped in a situation. Sometimes it can be just trapped in our own thoughts where we have ruminating thoughts that keep going around and around in our head and we cannot sort of stop it. And sometimes it can be made worse by other people that we're talking to, sort of they're freaking us out a little bit because of the contributions they're making to our already um, crazy thoughts, not crazy thoughts, but just a lot of thoughts that go around and around in our head and we can't seem to get out of it or it could be a situation some of you you know in terms of a situation could have could have felt trapped the good news is you're coming out of that energy if you've been thinking and overthinking a situation or people have been sort of butting into your situation and making things worse it's uh that energy is being released this week taurus so that's good news so this is coming out of of a feeling of being feeling trapped in a situation, whether it's our own thoughts or whether it's an actual situation where we feel like we, you know, couldn't maybe in the past, you felt like you couldn't get out of it, but now you're being released. <laughs> Coming right off the hop, we have the energies of the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. Now, this could be why maybe this is the right time. The Wheel of Fortune in the upright kind of represents where we are in the right timing of the universe. It's moving in a certain direction. We're moving with it without resistance and uh, feeling, you know, pretty good because we just sort of sense or we know that we're really lucky. Uh, this is very lucky energy. It could be where we, you just turn a corner and step into a little store and maybe buy a scratch ticket and win a few dollars. This could be where we, you know, find our ideal job. This could be where um, pretty much anything is just a general read. So it's going to be different for all of you. You could find the love of your life. Uh, definitely with, with the rest of these cards here, it looks like love is in the air. We have the two of cups in the upright position. This represents um, feeling in really good union with somebody. Now for some of you, yes, this is definitely a relationship, maybe a budding new relationship, or it could represent a best friend or somebody we're just really uh, feeling on the same page with. So this is beautiful energy. It's in the upright. So we're definitely feeling that person. That person is feeling us. And we're feeling really good about the relationship. And moving on towards the weekend of the 22nd, we have the energies of the Knight of Cups in the upright position. Well, this is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is um, water energy, that of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. And the Knights always bring in some kind of offer. For you, Taurus, this is uh, Knight of Cups is bringing in an offer of, he's known as the most romantic knight in the deck. This could definitely be concerning romance when you look at the two of cups is also here too so this could be an offer of uh, a romantic um, weekend getaway it could be an offer of uh, somebody wanting to take you out on a date it could be um, an offer of something that's really emotionally fulfilling for you so this could even be representing an engagement, maybe with the Two of Cups here before it. Maybe this is somebody wanting to propose to Taurus. This could also be, for others of you, that is not playing out in the romantic realm. It could just be somebody making an offer to you about something that is dear to your heart. It could be uh, the ideal job, or maybe um, if you have a hobby of music or uh, something that's very creative. It could be that an offer is coming in to do something like that. Whatever it is, it seems to be making you very, very happy, Taurus. What a beautiful reading here. 
Now, uh, the last card you have up here is Major Arcana, the Lover is in the upright position. You start off with a Major Arcana and end off with a Major Arcana. You have the Lovers and the Two of Cups here in the same reading. Beautiful. It looks like love is in the air, definitely, for some uh, Tauruses out there, for sure. The Lovers represents a choice. That's why I said this could even possibly be an engagement for some of you. Maybe someone is asking you to marry them and you have to make that choice. You have to make that decision. We can always choose. Um, when it comes to partnerships, we can always choose to accept it or not to accept it. We have free will. So this is just an offer of uh, a choice on a major level. It could be definitely that somebody wants to marry you. It could be that somebody even wants to go into a partnership with you. Maybe it's a business partnership. Maybe this is representing a choice about um, an offer that's made to you about a career choice or decision that's very dear to your heart and you have to make a decision about it. So that is your reading, Taurus. What a fabulous reading. Wow. Way to go. I'm so happy to see this for you guys. This is awesome. No wonder you're feeling the release. <laughs> so I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.